Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is still part of a review of the Gigabyte G1 Sniper 2 Z68 motherboard and uh, I've just been looking at the YouTube comments and it looks like people are interested in wanting to see the process of updating the BIOS and uh, I think there's a perfect opportunity to, to do that. I've just recently received an email from Gigabyte about the, uh, an, an update to the G1 Sniper 2 by, uh, BIOS. I have the F4B version sent from email. I saved it to a USB drive. I have it plugged in right now and uh, I'm going to update from the F3 BIOS. And what we're going to do, of course, is do this uh, through the uh, Q Flash utility, which is built in. Most motherboard makers put in their own uh, built in, built in uh, BIOS Flash update program into the BIOS itself. You don't have to uh, use uh, MS DOS anymore, so or uh, you can also use, some also have um, BIOS updates through the desktop or OS. Well, those are much easier. You just basically click and do that. But I'm going to show the BIOS right now. I'm going to use the Q Flash. Just uh, enter the BIOS from here. Wait till the beep. Now before you proceed with uh, updating your BIOS, always make sure to do a uh, reset and to see we have two options here, either we can load the failsafe defaults or the optimized defaults. I would recommend doing the failsafe defaults. I actually have the defaults loaded already, uh, you can see there, I have the F, right, see the version, BIOS version is F3 and uh, see my 2600K is running at the default values and uh, as just load failsafe defaults make sure completely hit y just enter and save and exit and let's go back to the cmos once again just a beep and wait for the keyboard to turn on hit delete now there's actually two ways to uh Initiate the Q Flash utility. See if you look at the lower left hand corner here, see that F8 triggers Q Flash. But if you have a RAID setup, for example, or you have you it is uh, it, it is placed on a separate controller than any one, you will have to press the end button while it's uh, while it's while the post screen is loading. So we actually we are going to hit the F8 right now. See there, it will. Give you a warning message. Enter a Q Flash utility. Yes or no? Of course, we'll do that. Yes. And make sure that the USB is plugged in. And just to make sure that the USB is also a FAT32 or FAT16, because uh, NTFS. That's one thing I tried before. I tried. Uh, I, I was wondering why it wasn't detecting the uh, the USB drive plugged in because it was it was NTFS. So let's try it now if we can see it. Update bias from drive or save bias from drive. Of course, update bias from drive is what we're going to, we're going to have to choose. And there we go. The USB is plugged. The uh, USB drive is plugged in there. And you just navigate. I actually just have it on the main. Uh, have it th uh, inside the directory there. And here is the F4B BIOS. And just select that. And reading BIOS file. Check some F500. Are you sure to update the BIOS? Of course, back to enter the continue, escape to abort. And uh, before you do this, make sure that your power will not be interrupted at all during this process. This is the only unsafe, well, quote unquote, unsafe procedure where people are kind of scared. I can understand that because every time you read a manual, people uh, people always say, oh, if you screw this up, you're going to have a dead motherboard. So that's all you need to make sure of is that while it's updating the process is uninterrupted the but actually a lot of motherboard manufacturers put in a failsafe uh, for example the 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 GWAS Sniper 2 has a backup BIOS just in case whenever the first BIOS is corrupted or in case of an overclock or a bad flash it will automatically load from the second one so you don't have to worry depending on your model of your motherboard you have to check out what features it has so let's try to get on with this just press enter processing the data 
erasing bots, updating bots should take over a, just a few seconds really it doesn't take long of course in red there it says don't turn off power or reset system while it's doing this verifying there we go copy bias completed pass press any key to continue now this should reset uh, I actually didn't uh, it just gives you returns you to the main Q flash the utility uh, window here you have option to escape to reset or F10 to power off because so we're going to reset Hit escape ensure to reset enter continue just power down while it's uh, and then there we go if it boots successful we'll see it anyway if uh, the uh, backup box kicks in or if it if in case it was a failed flash but it looks like it's working fine and uh, hit delete so we can enter the BIOS and see the BIOS version you see there and now it is F4B